apple bananas dusted in brown sugar, tucked in a pastry wrapper, and deep fried to golden brown perfection. Aloha my kako, my name is Rel and welcome to my kitchen where I like to share all my favorite island and Hawaiian style recipes. And today we'll be making banana lumpia. But before we start, I'd like to mahalo Foodland Hawaii for sponsoring this video. As always, thoughts and opinion are my own. So the first thing I know you're gonna tell me is that lumpia is not Hawaiian. And while you're right, it is a Filipino dish, but it's very popular here in Hawaii. So the first step is you'll need some glaze for the outside. So what we're gonna start with is my Ka'i organic light brown sugar. This can be found at any food land in the baking aisle. So you'll take the brown sugar and we're gonna add it to a pot set over medium high to high heat. And this is gonna make the glaze for the outside of the lumpia. We'll go ahead and add that to the pot, along with some water. And then you're just gonna wanna stir it up until the brown sugar melts, and it'll become a thick syrup, and we'll use that to glaze the outside. While that's cooking, we'll go ahead and start preparing the bananas. So I've got a bunch of apple bananas here. Traditionally, you can use plantains or saba bananas, but I really like apple bananas. They have a little bit of a sweeter and more firm consistency. But don't worry, if you can't find any of those, you totally can use regular bananas. What we're gonna do is peel off the outside because you don't need that for your bananas. And the apple bananas usually have a little bit of a firmer outside. Let's ask you a question. Do you peel your bananas from up here or here? All my life, I've always peeled it from here, but I was told that you're, this is the side you're supposed to peel it from. So I don't know, you tell me. Sometimes the apple bananas are hard to peel and you can just trim the edge off like that. Of both sides. See, when you crack the top, it does open. Or maybe that's the bottom, I'm not quite sure. This piece here, we don't need that, and you can break that part off. So then you're gonna take your banana and you're gonna slice it lengthwise this way. So you can set it down on your cutting board and just run your knife across. Careful of your fingers. And now you've got two pieces. The other option is to cut it down this way, which I guess also works as well. Probably safer that way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of these peels on the side. You can put them in your garden and make compost or toss it, totally up to you. We're gonna wanna check on the syrup to make sure it's not burning. And you can see it's still kind of bubbling. It's still a little loose. So we can let that cook down a little bit longer. Next step is to roll the banana in the brown sugar. To a plate, we're gonna wanna add more of that brown sugar. You can always add more if you need. If you like things really sweet, you can add more sugar. If you like it less sweet, then just add less. Then you're gonna take the banana and you're gonna set it into the sugar. All you're gonna do is roll it to make sure that all of it is covered and we'll set it to the side. As a kid growing up, I was such a sucker for sweets. And who am I kidding? I still am now. But what was my favorite part of family parties was the dessert table. And these lumpia, they're banana lumpia, so they're desserts. And it was always my favorite on the table, and that's the first things that I would grab. Another name for banana lumpia is called turon. Now, here in Hawaii, we generally just say banana lumpia, but maybe in some other parts of the world, you might be more familiar with it called that. Now, once the sugar has thickened up, as you can see, it'll come become this dark brown kind of color, and it'll get to this consistency. That's pretty good. It'll thicken up a little bit more as we set that aside. So we'll take this off and let it sit while we fry up the lumpia. So the next step is we're gonna heat up the oil and then we'll start rolling the lumpia. To a pan set over medium high heat, we're gonna add the cooking oil of choice. Up to you, you can use vegetable, canola, avocado if you'd like. 
and you're going to want to heat that to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. The next step is to roll the lumpia. So you'll get lumpia wrappers. They look like this. They're in the freezer section. Spring roll, egg roll wrappers. They're, there's many names for them. They come in thin sheets. The tricky part sometimes is getting it off without tearing it. So if you go slowly and pull a small section at a time, you should be able to get it off in one nice piece. Like this. Then you'll set that down. Now, to roll the lumpia, you're gonna want it in a diamond shape and you're gonna want one point of the diamond facing down towards you. Then you're gonna take the banana and you're gonna set it in. You're gonna set it a couple of inches up from the bottom. The key to this is to tuck the corner over and you'll have a little bit of extra and you're gonna roll it and you wanna keep it as tight as you can. When you get halfway, then you'll fold the side over. So the left side or the right side. And you're gonna continue rolling. Now to close it up, all you'll need is a little bit of water and you'll just tap that to the top. And this acts as glue to keep the lumpia close. And you'll just continue rolling until you get all the way through to the end. And that's your lumpia. So we'll set that aside and we'll continue rolling the rest of them. And we'll just close up the last banana lumpia here. And once they all have been wrapped up, then you can wash your hands and then we can fry it. And the next step, we're gonna fry up the lumpia. So once your oil has hit 350 degrees Fahrenheit, we can go ahead and set it in. You can just use some tongs and go ahead and set them in. You don't wanna crowd the pan, make sure there's enough space and they're just gonna fry for a couple of minutes on each side or until golden brown. So we'll go ahead and check and make sure we haven't overcooked them to just to make sure we got the golden brown color that we like. So that looks perfect. We'll flip them and fry on the other side for just a few more minutes and then we'll take them out. All right, now we've got the perfect color on both sides. So we're gonna wanna take them out of the oil. You can drip the excess oil out before you take it out. Try not to drop it in because it'll splash hot oil around. And once you've dripped most of the oil out, then you can place them on a paper towel to drain the excess oil. Now that you've finished frying up the lumpia, my favorite part, the glaze. If you don't want the extra added sugar, you totally can leave this part out, but I wouldn't recommend it. So two ways we can go about doing this. You can dunk the lumpia into the glaze or we can drizzle it on top. So if you're gonna dunk it, all you have to do is take one of the lumpia and you're just gonna set it into the glaze. It's very thick at this point. And you're just gonna roll it and drip off the excess. And you'll just set it back on the plate. The other option is the drizzle. So go ahead and get your spoon and you can scoop a little bit out. As you can see, it's very thick and you can just drizzle it over the top. Personally, my favorite is dunking it in. And of course, you can't make all these yummy lumpia without trying it. Enjoy. Bye.